Okay, we're gonna do something different today. I have been hearing a lot about smart suit. From my experience, I worked with Airtable and a bunch of different other platforms, but I've never really looked at smart suit before. Some of the members of our team have but I have been specifically waiting to review this from like my very, very, very first attempt at this because I want to understand if an expert can get a hang of it, can a less experienced user get a hang of it very quickly. So today, this is my first attempt at SmartSuit. I think I've been on their website once, but other than that, I don't know much about it i know that it's kind of like a database it's kind of like a pm tool but i really want to see how and if it compares to airtable from the standpoint of somebody who has done this professionally for many years and has advised hundreds of clients for airtable solutions is this a competitor a real competitor for airtable should airtable be worried if you haven't done so already do subscribe to the channel now so that you don't miss any future uploads. My name is Alex and let's take a look at this. All right, so I've just Googled a smart suit and I've got the link right here. Let's jump in. So my first impressions are, well, I mean, I can see that there's like Kanban boards, there's Gantt charts, fancy graphics, there's some common that is very reminiscent of monday.com. So I, I can kind of tell that they are trying to compete with a lot of different platforms. I'm not a huge fan of, um, you know, super excited stock footagey people on every corner. Yeah, this looks a little bit fakey. There's a lot of integrations, which is interesting. Data import, what do they say about data import? Some videos, okay, and even Airtable. All right, anyway, let's start free trial. Like I said, I've never signed up for this. This is my first time ever working with, with this. So I'm just gonna use Google to sign in. I'm just gonna uh, set up trial workspace, yep. So they keep showing us these uh, very fake people that are of overly happy. One last question. Um, search engine, continue. Why do I have to log in again? I thought I was just logged in. Anyway, got it. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is so similar to like just the UI is kind of reminiscent of Airtable because you have, you know, the, some, well, they have resources on the side, but the colors and the, yeah, it's kind of similar to Airtable. I can't help but compare the two. I'm not going to go into their templates because that is cheating in a sense. I want to see what it feels like to go from scratch. Can I make sense of it? Okay, very familiar to Airtable. The untitled solution. Let's call this something like a, a recruitment database. Okay, where else do my eyes lead me? We have views, a grid view. Oh, we have our tables up here. Okay, that's nice. There, yeah, I can add a new record. What else? So we have some views, create a new view, and we have just right off the bat, card, Kanban, calendar, timeline, map, chart, and form. Fine. Airtable style. What else do we have? Do we have any other interesting views? Timeline, dashboard, form, calendar. Okay, fine. Timeline is probably kind of like a Gantt view, right? Hmm. Interesting. All right. So let's create our first table. Let's call this candidates. Then another table. Let's call this jobs. Then another table, let's call this uh, job X candidates matches. Cool. Okay, let's go into candidates. So we have a title field. Then we have start a conversation. Can I hide this? Remove from display. 
Okay. Fields to display. All right, so let's take a look. We have title, sign to. These are just the fields that we can show and hide and all of that. Then we can take a look at the field number slider. That's nice. That's I like that. Everything else does seem to be quite similar to Airtable. Is there a formula field? Formula. Okay. Sub items. I wonder how that works. It's an interesting concept, to be honest. Sub items. It's an interesting concept. I'm not sure how this is looking from a design architecture perspective, because technically, shouldn't that be a table that's linked? So that's an interesting little thing. But generally speaking, in terms of UI, I actually really like it. I'm not really seeing anything that's particularly crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. So recruitment database is here. Let me add some records and I'll come back to talking about the rest of my impressions. Okay, so I'm, I've just added one extra person and I'm kind of noticing a lot more similarities. To me, so far, like, what is it, nine minutes in, I find that this is an Airtable clone with a few extra nice to haves. So I do enjoy the sub items. I think this is an interesting little thing. I wonder how that reflects in terms of the API. So when we're querying things, what is the architecture of the data? How did they design it? I reckon this is going to be just like a, a nice little extra table somewhere. I'm not a huge fan that I have sub items kind of like, and again, maybe I just don't know enough because it's what, it's been 10 minutes, but I'm just thinking that that is like kind of hidden within each record. How do I search this? So let's uh, add a sub item here. Let's call this like Ferrari. Will it find it? Just add, save. And if I find Ferrari, does it really find it, right? If I do a general search, so yeah, you see it's kind of like nested down there, not ideal. What other views do we have? Create a new view, timeline, Kanban card, forms. So one of Airtable's biggest issues is their forms. Their forms kind of suck. They have been the same for a very, very long time, and we haven't really seen much progress from Airtable to kind of like try to modernize them, try to make forms better than just a basic form that you collect data. There's so there's so much exciting stuff happening within the form world from type form, uh, type form, from job form. Everybody's innovating in that space, yet Airtable seems to believe that forms are like an afterthought. So, okay, form settings, form type. Okay, what else can I do? Assign to, so I can just drag and drop this, I suspect. Yes, I can. Settings, display message, redirect, us, uh, allow resuming partial submissions. That is cool. That is beautiful. They could come back to a form. That is an awesome, awesome addition to forms. See, these guys, they are paying attention. What else? There's a map view. That's interesting. A location. Your need to be okay. You must create an address field. Okay, let's go ahead and create an address field. Grid view address field. Multiple. Oh, that's cool. That's very nice. They're forcing me to stick to include a map display. All righty. Let's see. Address. So let's say one hacker. Oh, this is this is interesting. Go away. One hacker away. Menlo Park. Excellent. What about that map that they were bragging about? Oh, okay. All right. I see. All right. Cool. That looks good. And now if I go to my map view, that should pull in that person. Very interesting. Kind of odd that I can't share this with anybody. If I click on this, all right, can I share it with somebody? Because I kind of noticed that grid view can be shared, yet maps can't be shared, which is annoying. So 
I'm going to continue exploring smart suit to see if it's a viable solution for somebody who's looking for air table on steroids and I'll come back with some findings. But these were my first impressions of using smart suit ever, ever. I've never seen the UI, but for now, looks pretty cool. I think they've got an interesting little product on their hands that for anybody who comes from Airtable, this is a nice in-between, I feel, solution to having almost like a dry database that Airtable is with some helping elements like sublists that you see a lot in things like Asana and Monday, of course. They're kind of helping the user make the right decisions like we saw with the address field. So yeah, I think it's a very interesting product. And yes, Airtable should, Airtable should feel a little bit challenged by this for sure. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you next. Cheers.